Let me show you something really interesting with hard ops and I guarantee you that this thing is annoying the living hell out of you and you're wondering how the hell can you fix this and you don't know how to do it. And actually I have a question on this recently on Discord or my YouTube channel, I don't remember. But uh, anyway, it's about modifiers, about cutters. So let's say I have a cube and I'm gonna cut it with box cutter, right? So let's just run you know, a few cuts here and there, blah, blah. And I said, I, I don't like it. I want to remove it. I'm going to redo it. Okay, fine. Let's run a few more cutters, you know, here and there and cut it one more time. And eh, it's not what I want. There we go. And let's run something like this and say, okay, this is something I want to do, right? But the problem now is that we have all these dead modifiers, all these dead cutters running on the mesh. So if I go Alt H, you know, this happens and good luck to you, right? Now, obviously with hard ups, what you can do, you can go to Q, ever scroll and scroll through live bullions. But, you know, you still have this nonsense. So how do you deal with it, right? Well, listen, it's really simple, okay? Let's just move this cube to, uh, to collection. So what you want to do is you want to click on the mesh, go to Q menu and go to um, settings, go to manage and alt click on manage. And if you hover over this menu, you will see a tooltip with all other options that you can use with this with this menu. And by the way, this is, um, you know, the same theme for every single tool in hard ups or box cutter. So you know, just if you didn't know, so go to settings, manage, alt click and magic, boom, they're all gone clean. Now I'll show you one more really cool trick for organizing cutters. And this one is bonkers. Okay. If you're like me and you're using multiple versions of blender, which you should, I'm using seven, you know, I'm using 3.6, 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5 and 5.0 at the same time. Right? So maybe eight, I don't know, um, you know, I lost count, but anyway, Let's say that, uh, let me just revert it, right? I'm going to duplicate this mesh, okay? I'm going to go to Q menu and operations and uniquify, which is a very cool way of duplicating mesh and parenting all the cutters and modifiers to that mesh, because now I have all the same cutters here, just saying, it's a duplicate, right? So I got cutters here, right? And cutters here, they duplicated. So just a you know, little trick on the side. And by the way, if you wanna learn more tricks like this and actually how to use both add-ons really really well on the professional level then grab by course the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0 which is a best-selling course it's fantastic and it will teach you literally everything you need to know and it's the only complete source of knowledge on these two add-ons on the market there's simply nothing else out there even documentation is outdated so grab it the link is in the video description but anyway what i want to show you is copying um copying uh, basically the mesh to other blender so let's say we you know we had all these all these modifiers running on the mesh right all of them and we're going to uh, you know grab this uh, grab all of this Control c and copy objects right and we're gonna go to a new blender i'm gonna go to blender 4.3 Right, so I'm in 4.3 right now and I'm going to control V this, right? And you see now we have all this mess. We have meshes, we have cutters and they're all in one collection. So how do you organize it? Really simple guys. Select everything, Q, then go to settings, go to manage, control click and magic. All the cutters organized in cutter collection, cubes in collection and you still have your cutters parented to your mesh on each of these, right? And that's power of hard ups and box cutter. So again, grab the course, the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0, the best source of knowledge on both add-ons on the market. And you know, we've been using these add-ons for like what, over six years professionally in courses, for clients, for fun, you name it, we've used it. So we know them inside out. So grab the course, the link is in the video description and in the comment pinned underneath the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.